bring in our next guest analyst uh, that's going to be Oliver Slope from Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Al uh, Oliver, thanks for being on. Um, finally, a little bit of strength here late, it looks like to me. Yeah, we had uh, Fed uh, member Buller talking here this afternoon, which has provided some support to the outside markets, dropped a dollar a little bit, adding some strength to commodities. We're seeing that reflected in crude oil, which is also sharply off the lows, and that's kind of rolling over into a little bit of late day momentum in the grain sector. And I think all in all, the grain sector has probably just been beaten down, worn down over the past several days here to start the year. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that continue, though. Not maybe this afternoon and into tomorrow. Maybe we get a little bit of relief. But I think selling rallies might begin to be the new trend in 2023 as some of these funds look to reposition. And ultimately, I think there's just a lot of headwinds in the grain markets as well. Keeping an eye on South America, Brazil looks pretty darn ideal. I know there's been some question marks in Argentina, uh, but that you know is going to be a, a moving target, so to speak. And one thing we're also keeping a close eye on is weather here in the states, which has seemed kind of to, to pick up and be fairly favorable, getting some moisture in some areas that have been relatively dry as of late. Yeah, there's these uh, bearish kind of stories kind of creeping in, and we've also got say China, the European Union, and the U.S economically speaking, slowing down too. So, I mean, we could be putting the most expensive crop ever into the ground this spring and then worrying about how bad the, the Fed's gonna beat up the economy here and how bad the European Central Bank that might be beating up Europe as well as uh, the Chinese, uh, the People's Bank of China because that, that, could, be, that could be difficult. So uh, we're, there's some risks out there. None of the things we had to worry about in 2022 have been solved. We're bringing a lot of baggage over the finish line of 22 into 23 with us. So we'll have to wait and see, but you're right. I think that uh, there are some things out there we definitely have to worry about, especially with these prices the way they are. Yeah, and we talked about it, you and I, uh, over the last several weeks going into the holiday trade being it relatively quiet, but we put the spin on it as an opportunity to take advantage of these higher prices Well, that volatility is cheap. Now, the volatility and the pricing of options has picked up a little bit this week. They're still historically cheap and at the lower end of the levels as far as volatility goes since the beginning of 2020. So right. I still think we're weaker, but still an opportunity for farmers to, to protect some prices here.